Jason Kidd was born on March 23, 1973, in San Francisco, California. Growing up, Kidd had a challenging childhood, with his parents divorcing when he was young and his father in and out of jail. Despite these obstacles, Kidd developed a love for basketball and became a standout player in high school and college. He was eventually drafted into the NBA and had a successful career as a player, but also faced personal and legal troubles along the way. This is the story of Jason Kidd's tragic life, from his rise to fame to his struggles and eventual redemption. As a student at St. Joseph Notre Dame High School in Alameda, California, Jason Kidd quickly established himself as a star on the basketball court. He led his team to two state championships and was named California's Mr. Basketball in 1992. After graduating, he enrolled at the University of California, Berkeley, where he continued to excel on the court. In 1994, Kidd was drafted second overall by the Dallas Mavericks. He immediately made an impact in the NBA, earning Rookie of the Year honors and leading the league in triple doubles during his first season. Over the next several years, Kidd became known as one of the best point guards in the league, with exceptional court vision, passing ability, and defensive skills. Kidd's NBA career spanned from 1994 to 2013 and was characterized by his ability to elevate his team's play with his passing, defense, and leadership. He played for several teams, including the Dallas Mavericks, Phoenix Suns, New Jersey Nets, and New York Knicks. Kidd's first stint with the Dallas Mavericks was from 1994 to 1996. He was traded to the Phoenix Suns in 1996 and played there until 2001. During his time with the Suns, Kidd established himself as one of the best point guards in the league, leading the NBA in assists per game for five consecutive seasons from 1999 to 2003. He was also named to the NBA All-Defensive First Team five times. In 2001, Kidd was traded to the New Jersey Nets, where he found the most success of his career. He led the Nets to two consecutive NBA Finals appearances in 2002 and 2003, but unfortunately, they lost both times. In the 2002-2003 season, he also won the NBA Assists title for the seventh time and was named to the All-NBA First Team for the fifth time. After a brief stint with the Dallas Mavericks again in 2008, Kidd was traded to the New York Knicks in 2012. He played there until 2013 when he retired as a player. Throughout his career, Kidd's passing and court vision were his greatest strengths, and he finished his career ranked second on the NBA's all-time assists list, behind only John Stockton. Kidd was also known for his defensive abilities, finishing his career with the third most steals in NBA history. He retired with career averages of 12.6 points, 8.7 assists, and 6.3 rebounds per game. While Kidd was known for his talent on the court, he also had personal struggles off the court that impacted his career. Throughout his career, Kidd had a reputation for being difficult to work with and having strained relationships with his coaches and teammates. In 2000, Kidd was arrested for domestic violence against his then-wife Jumana. He pleaded guilty to the charges and was ordered to attend counseling sessions. The incident damaged Kidd's reputation and made him a controversial figure in the NBA. Despite the negative publicity, Kidd continued to play at a high level and was eventually traded to the New Jersey Nets. In 2001, Kidd's reputation took another hit when he was involved in a feud with his coach, Byron Scott. Kidd was unhappy with the way he was being used in the offense and publicly criticized Scott. The feud eventually led to Scott's dismissal as coach of the Nets. Kidd's difficult personality also led to conflicts with his teammates. In 2007, while playing for the Dallas Mavericks, Kidd reportedly got into a physical altercation with teammate Devin Harris during a practice. In addition to his personal struggles, Jason Kidd also faced legal troubles throughout his career. In 2001, he was arrested and charged with driving while intoxicated after crashing his car into a utility pole. He pleaded guilty to the charges and was fined and sentenced to community service. Kidd's legal troubles were a source of embarrassment for him and his team, and they further damaged his reputation. However, Kidd was able to learn from his mistakes and eventually turned his life around. 
Despite the personal and legal struggles that Jason Kidd faced throughout his career, he was eventually able to redeem himself both on and off the court. Kidd's turnaround began in 2013 when he retired as a player and transitioned to coaching. He was hired as the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets, the same team he led to the NBA Finals as a player. In his first season as head coach, he led the team to the playoffs, and he continued to have success as a coach with the Milwaukee Bucks and the Dallas Mavericks. Kidd's journey is a reminder that success is not always easy, and sometimes it requires overcoming obstacles and setbacks. But with hard work, determination, and a willingness to learn from your mistakes, you can achieve your goals and make a positive impact on the world. If you enjoyed this story and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more inspiring stories in the future. Thank you for watching.